Bookish friends, uh, welcome to my February TBR. Uh, in this video, uh, I will uh, first of all uh, talk about uh, the books uh, that I chose uh, that would fit uh, for my TBR goals. In the second part of the video, I'm going to talk about uh, the books that I've chose uh, to read uh, for my yearly reading challenges, as well as uh, the uh, monthly readathon that I'm uh, thinking of participating, which is Retro Romance Readathon. First of all, uh, I want to talk about uh, the bud reads uh, that I'm planning to do. I have quite a lot of bud reads planned uh, for this month. The first one uh, belongs to a fantasy book uh, that I wanted to read for a very, very long time uh, since I've seen the movie adaptation of it, uh, which is The Princess Bride uh, by William Goldman. Uh, we will bud read uh, this book. Uh, with uh, Kristen at Enter the Book. We are both very excited uh, to read this book. The second body read that will definitely happen uh, is uh, the uh, body read of a uh, Japanese mystery book, The Decagon House Murders by Yukuto uh, Ayatsuji. Uh, I will body read this book with Amy at Zobek and uh, I have better read uh, books with her before and she's a great buddy reader so i'm guessing this will be a very good experience too uh, the uh, third book uh, that is definite that i will buddy read is a middle grade horror book which is the book of lost things uh, by john Connolly. i will buddy read this book with cozy reader kelly she very recently did a video in which uh, she talked about uh, the books uh, that uh, she might buddy read and because i have never read a, a middle grade book in the horror genre. I was really uh, interested uh, to read uh, this book with her. The fourth book that I will mention is the second book of the first series uh, that I've chose for my series read along project, uh, which is uh, The Winner's Crime by Mary Rutrowski. I could not find uh, a body reader uh, for the first book, but if you have uh, read the first book and Want to, want to continue with this series. The call for body reading is open, of course. If you want to body read uh, the second uh, and then maybe the third book with me, uh, please comment down uh, below. I am planning to body read uh, this book uh, in the third week of February. Uh, so you have uh, plenty of time to decide uh, and comment. But there might be uh, another possibility of body reading a book, but since I have not confirmed it, my friend, uh, I will not mention it. Uh, you will see it in my wrap-ups uh, if you body read the book. I have three books uh, chosen uh, for my online book clubs. The first one is the February book for the Killer Reads book club. Killer Reads uh, book club is uh, hosted by uh, AJ Dan Reads and Writes. Uh, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy by Jean Le Carre. Uh, I have watched the uh, movie adaptation of this book and uh, really, really enjoyed it. But I've heard uh, that the book is even better. So I'm very eager to uh, read uh, this book. Uh, the second uh, book club belongs to Krista's Patron Book Club. Although it is not a definite win, uh, I think uh, Murder at Malavon Hall uh, by Colin Cambridge uh, will be the uh, winner of the poll. Agatha Christie is a uh, character in this book, so uh, even if uh, this book does not get chosen, I'm very eager uh, to read this book. Uh, the uh, third uh, book club book uh, is a book club uh, that I'm very newly joined. Uh, this will be the first time uh, that I will read a book uh, for this club, uh, which is uh, the Kindred Spirits Book Club, uh, hosted by Kate Howe. We will read The Pursuit of Love by Nancy Mitford. I have heard uh, so many good things about Nancy Mitford, and it looks like that it will be a cozy read, and uh, this will be a good uh, uh, diversion uh, from all the mystery books that I'm planning to read. Uh, as for books of Alfred Hitchcock, the February book is a book that I've actually read twice and uh, this will be the third time that I will read this book, uh, which is Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier. This book was uh, adapted uh, many, many times and I've actually done uh, two from pages to screen video about this book. Uh, so this book is a clear favorite of mine. Uh, so it will not be a, a burden uh, for me to uh, read this book the third time. It's always a delight to read the Rebecca for me. 
Now it's time for the series cup. Because I love shaking, uh, I wanted to shake uh, beforehand. Uh, anyway, <laughs> what does series cup mean? Uh, series cup uh, is a, a cup that contains the name of the series uh, that have uh, three or less books uh, left uh, for me to finish the series. Uh, because I finished the series that I chose in January, I will pick uh, another series from the cup this month too. Um. Yes, the series is a middle grade series. Wait, what series? I only have uh, one book uh, left from this uh, non-fiction middle grade series. The books uh, in this series are also very short. So I think it won't be a burden for me to finish the series too. Uh, so I'm, very, I'm doing very well with the series about series challenge. We have another <laughs> draw uh, from this uh, tall glass. I have put all the physical books uh, that are less than uh, 400 pages in this cup. Though the number of books uh, is not alarming uh, right now, uh, the uh, the rate that uh, the books do increase is alarming. So I've decided to choose uh, one book from this class uh, every month uh, so that I will be done uh, with a physical book in my library. Uh, since I only keep the books that I will read uh, at the end of this project, uh, the number of books in my physical shelf will uh, certainly decrease. So let's shake it again. And uh, the book uh, for uh, February is Kambur by Esra Kahya. Uh, this book was gifted uh, to, to me uh, by my best friend. Uh, she said that it's a very emotional book. And I'm very curious uh, about this book since my best friend loved it very, very much. First yearly challenge that I'm doing in 2023 is the series about series. For the prompt of starting and uh, finishing three trial trilogies i will read uh, the second book uh, in the winners trilogy which is the winners crime by mary retroski and it is also very possible that i will finish another series that i have three or less books uh, left uh, to read which is wait white series by dan gutman by reading the last book For the Golden Girls Reading Challenge, which is created by Rachel Fryman, the prompt uh, for February is fake dating. And uh, I will read a Harlequin book uh, for this challenge, which is uh, also one of the books that I will read for Retro Romance Readathon, simply Scandalous uh, by uh, Carly Phillips. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will join Retro Romance Readathon hosted by uh, Storm and uh, Sarah. For this readathon, uh, we, we are supposed to read uh, books uh, that are considered retro. The time limit is uh, 2003 and I chose uh, three uh, romance or uh, romantic suspense books. Uh, to read uh, for this challenge. Uh, Storm and Sarah also created a bingo board uh, and I'm planning to do uh, one row uh, by reading uh, the three books that I've chose. For the prompt of category romance, I will read uh, Simply Scandalous by Carly Phillips. Uh, for the prompt of a standalone novel, I will read Indigo by Beverly Jenkins. And uh, for the uh, prompt of the old-fashioned hero, I will uh, cheat a bit and read uh, Rebecca by Daphne de More. Mr. De Winters is certainly an old-fashioned and brooding hero. Although this book can be categorized as romantic suspense, uh, since uh, since it contains a romance-heavy plot, uh, I think uh, it will count. Uh, so these are all the books uh, that I'm planning to read uh, for the month of February. Uh, please comment down below. Uh, have you read any of the books uh, that I mentioned in this video? Also, are you planning to participate in Retro Romance Readathon? If you are a new viewer, first of all, welcome. Please like and subscribe. Hope to see you very soon. Bye.
a Turkish word of the day, I'm going to choose Taylor. Taylor means Terzi in Turkish and Terzi is our Turkish word of the day. Have a good day.